right, I'm on my lunch break. I made it to my interview. So this is the first in-person interview that I've had. So wish me luck, guys. We'll see how this goes. Thursday evening I'm on my way out of here y'all let me tell y'all what's been going on first of all I'm gonna apologize because vlog timber has not been starting off how I wanted it to start off because y'all so today is Thursday last weekend was Labor Day weekend so I was off up until Monday I was not feeling good unexpectedly over the weekend so I was planning to do a Labor Day weekend vlog that did not happen because I was not feeling good. The plan was for me to meet up with my family down in my sister's neck of the woods and we were gonna do a whole family weekend situation. And I did go, but like I said, I wasn't feeling good. So I did not really pick up the camera. We went to this really cute wildlife, I think it's called a wildlife safari situation. And I will put all the information about that down in the description box because if you have kids or even if you're just like a nature adventure animal person i would highly recommend that y'all go i didn't even know that that place existed but it's here in georgia i would say it's about maybe a hour and 45 minute two hour drive from atlanta so if you guys are just wanting a cute little weekend road trip or a day trip to go somewhere i would highly recommend that y'all go they had really cute animals you can feed the animals and all of that so that was like the highlight of the weekend on sunday and then that monday your girl did a little fish fry and it was pretty good i fried up some flounder some whiting and some french fries we had some coleslaw so your girl did her thing that was my first fish fry experience so i was hype y'all that the fish actually turned out good so yeah i will definitely be doing that again but y'all come what was that monday like monday evening i was just exhausted from the driving from being sick already not really feeling good and then it got even worse monday tuesday so it was just a whole lot of whole lot of and then tuesday wednesday it was super busy here at the office because both my boss and manager are out of the office today and tomorrow um and then one of them will be out all next week so it was a lot of like pre-preparation trying to get ready for that mixed in with me doing interviews mixed in with today my co-worker not being here so <laughs> y'all when i tell you like i've been just really tired today like i was not planning to pick up the camera i didn't even bring my tripod y'all are literally sitting up on my office pen holder i have it like stacked up so that y'all can sit up here because i did not bring my tripod but i felt kind of better at the end of today so i was like let me pick up the camera and talk to the babes the interview process has been going okay. I had an in-person interview yesterday and that really broke my spirit a little bit, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie because um, first of all, I don't, this is the second time I've had this situation happen where they give you the impression that it's a one-on-one -on -one interview, but when you go there, it's a group interview. So this is the first time it's happened in person, but there was another time there was an interview that ended up being a group interview virtually. So that got on my nerves. I feel like I was ambushed. And for the position that I applied for, along with another one of the positions that other people were applying for, it really should have been something that executives or management should have been involved in. So that was like a red flag. I was already a little iffy about the company, but that really made me more iffy. I was like, this is not somewhere I want to be because it seems like y'all have a lot going on. So I applied for like an executive assistant role 
and then other people that were there were there for a office manager role and then there were other roles for um like technicians so it was like all of us together and she was going around asking all of us questions but it just it was not it was not set up well i felt like it should have been separated by title and what you're there to apply for so that was a red flag but because of that i feel like i was more nervous in my responses so long story short i just left the interview feeling very inadequate very um just really down about the whole process so that was yesterday and then today i had a um, follow-up phone interview at two of them so one was scheduled one wasn't someone had called me back to confirm so I'm really happy about both of these so yeah we'll see y'all we'll see how it goes um but I am I'm done this week I'm done for the week <laughs> and the weekend I'm taking a break like when I tell y'all I have been applying non-stop responding non-stop taking assessments and all this stuff I'm done. I need to like give myself a break because it's a lot trying to work and go through this interview process at the same time. It's a whole lot, a whole lot. Of it. And your girl needs to decompress. It's almost the weekend, honey. So that's it. We'll pick it back up on Monday. I have an interview on Monday. So we'll pick it back up on Monday. So welcome back to another vlog. I just wanted to pick up the camera and I guess get the vlog started today. I'm not doing anything today. I'm about to clock out drink my coffee, get some gas, and go home and cook dinner. I'm going to fix that salmon recipe again because it was really, really good. So I'm going to do that with some rice and vegetables. So yeah, y'all, we're just going to get the vlog flowing because I'm in a better mood now. I need to reinstall my hair too because it's looking a little crazy. She's lifting a little bit here on the side. So I'm going to fix my hair tonight, get myself together, get my apartment clean and tings, and y'all... Yeah. to do a quick try on haul from Dion Yu before I headed out this morning. They sent me over a couple pieces from their end of summer fall line. So this is the first piece. It's really cute peplum top. I love the print on this. It's a really pretty abstract. It has some fall colors in there. The yellow gives it like a nice pop of color from the summer. So y'all get the vibes into summer going into fall. Really, really cute. I love the sleeves on it. This is something that I would wear out to like a brunch, something like that. I have it paired with my black work pants because I'm going to work this morning, but I am not wearing this to work, of course, but um, I would definitely wear this with like some cute skinny jeans, some sandals. You can do this with some skinny jeans and some booties, something cute to give you like some fall vibes or whatever so yeah y'all this is the first piece i will have this link down in the description box for y'all don't play with her <laughs> don't play with her and what and what this is cute so this is a two-piece set that they sent over again their end of summer fall collection y'all this is giving this is giving i'm wearing this on thanksgiving Look at the golds, the navies, so, so cute. It fits like a glove. This is in a 3X, both the top and the pants. The pants always fit right, y'all. Every time, the pants always fit right on my waist. Love it. I love this peplum. It's like a peplum tailored top. Y'all, it's so freaking cute on. Does give you a little bit of cleavage. Again, this is something that you can wear out, you know, for a nice brunch situation. I will wear this out for like a date. It's just really, really pretty. It's really, really pretty. And the gold, 
just I don't know just brings out something in my skin tone that I like so yeah this is what it's looking like and it has my favorite color blue in it as well so yeah this is definitely giving I love the way that it shapes my waist it gives me like a little curve here and then it has the ruched sleeve here at the top and let me show y'all let me see if I can get a good angle from the side do y'all see how it also comes down in the back I love that so it kind of like comes right off your butt it's just really pretty the silhouette of it so yeah i would highly recommend picking this up you can pair this with some heels some sandals thank you so much to dion you for sending over these pieces i will have both pieces as well as my discount code linked down in the description box for you guys i would say for sure pick up this set because this is so so cute so yeah y'all i will check in with y'all once i get dressed do my hair put a little bit of makeup on so i will check in with y'all later i am on my way to duncan actually <laughs> i'm on my way to duncan to get me some more coffee um i want to try this nutty okay so my co-worker got a nutty pumpkin spiced iced coffee and i was like oh like i love hazelnut y'all like i really do love hazelnut so i was like oh that sounds really good so i'm going to order a nutty vanilla iced coffee with cream and sugar added and we'll see how we like it so that's going to be my order this morning but yeah i need me some coffee i'll probably need me some more coffee tomorrow too because it's just one of those weeks y'all but i am up early today is friday y'all know i have to go in early on friday but we leave early at three o'clock on fridays and i am here for it I'm not putting more on my plate than I need to like whatever is not done is not done today and whatever I can get done today is what I will get done and that's it so yeah y'all today is gonna be another pretty chill day uh what do we have planned I'm gonna go pick up my glasses they called me yesterday to let me know that my glasses were ready y'all it's been at least three weeks since I went to the eye doctor and the guy called me he was like hey i'm so sorry for the delays your glasses are being shipped from italy and i was like oh okay <laughs> but i'm like bruh y'all should have had the glasses in stock like it's been almost a month since i ordered the glasses but they are ready so i'm gonna go pick those up today and then we're going to go to this cute place I saw on Pinterest called ATL Exotics. We're going to do a little movie night tonight. And um, we're going to get some snacks from this place called ATL Exotics. They have like a really cute snack selection. So that's what we're going to do today, y'all. It's going to be, like I said, a very, very chill day. Not too much going on. So, y'all, that's what's on the agenda. So let me go ahead and get down the road. that the nutty is nutty pumpkin spice like it comes together so i just got hazelnut and vanilla so we'll see y'all okay thank you y'all these people are trying me today like just not paying attention what's wrong with y'all all right, let me try this and see how I like it. I'm kind of on the fence about trying the nutty pumpkin spice because y'all know I don't really care for the pumpkin spice at Dunkin'. I like the pumpkin spice at Starbucks. Oh, I should have went the other way. This is not a good situation. Yeah, I don't care for the pumpkin spice at Dunkin'. It has a, I don't know, it has a weird aftertaste. The only time I'll have the pumpkin spice 
it's in the chai tea latte. That's the only time I've liked it. But otherwise, I don't really care for their flavor. But let me try this hazelnut vanilla. I made it off of work <laughs> so I looked up this ATL exotics place and I don't know if I want to go inside like I'm just a little nervous about it I feel like I don't know I just I don't know I don't know if I want to go inside there's like some people out front and they have the windows tinted so I can't see inside because it's like a I guess CBD but they also have like these exotic snacks and stuff too I'm just going in for the snacks I just don't feel like having a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Oh. I'm gonna just go in <laughs> and hope for the best. Hopefully it's not a whole lot, a whole lot of, and I can just go in, get my snacks and leave. Can we do that? It's the strip club over here. It's this place called taste something taste and it's packed over there so must be good it's only three o'clock y'all so it's packed at three o'clock on a friday so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna be brave and go inside and see what's going on hopefully um hopefully it's giving what it needs to give and i'll let y'all know <laughs> set up well like i said it is a cbd store <laughs> cbd hookah supplies and all that but they have exotic snacks in addition to that so like i said that's not your thing you don't want to be in that kind of environment i'm letting you know but if you don't care like i don't <laughs> go in and get you some snacks and the customer service was really good the customers in there were really nice like they were talking to me like oh you need to get this you need to try this so it was a good experience i would definitely recommend so i got the hawaiian punch cotton candy one of the customers said it was really good so i'm gonna try it and the guy he recommended it's called high chew fantasy mix it's like chewy candies so we'll see y'all he said these are a bop the ritz crackers ritz lemon crackers it just sounds good so i'm gonna try those and then i got the taco doritos so that is what i picked up so like i said i am i'm gonna see how far away the eye doctor is if it's not too far away i'm gonna go there and pick up my glasses but if it's too far away from where i am now i'll just go on monday when i get off but yeah this is the clarkston georgia area so if you guys are in the area or near the area i would definitely recommend stopping by so yeah let me put in my gps and see how far away i am and if i'm too far away i'm just gonna head home and do a little bit of cleaning and get ready for movie night i wanted to show y'all what a couple subbies sent over Thank you so much. So Miss Pam Davis sent over her, uh, I believe it's a book of poetry. It's called No Unpaid Passengers. Yes, it's a book of poems. So thank you so much, Miss Pam Davis. And she looking cute. She looking real cute or whatever. Hey girl. <laughs> so I will definitely be sure to read this. I want to start getting back into reading more lately. So I will definitely add maybe a poem a day to my 
repertoire of reading and once i do finish it i'll let you guys know how i like it so thank you so much pam girl for reaching out and sending that over and if you guys are into um the arts or if you just enjoy some good poetry definitely check her out she did not leave i'm sure it's on amazon i'll try and find it online and if i can find a link for it i will um link that for you guys if you're interested and then girl you did not leave me your name oh let me see you didn't leave me your name girl but you know who you are but yeah miss miss she sent over her i'm assuming this is her business or let me know girl down below in the comments or via email if this is not your business and you just wanted to send this to me but i'm pretty sure this is her business and if so yes yes packaging is giving <laughs> so it's called planned by the book and she sent me over a planner binder so she sent this over it's like a really cute snake skin y'all i'm at home so i'm trying to make sure nobody looking at me y'all know how they be doing but yeah it's like a little snake skin binder with gold accents really cute really luxurious it's giving and it has um some inserts that she put in there already so it's just a really nice planner binder with some inserts that she put in there so i will definitely be putting this to good use so thank you so much girl for sending this over i will definitely be supporting and she did give me a little code for y'all so um yeah she has her etsy shop so the code for 20 percent off is hannah i'll put it on the screen and down in the description box and yes her etsy store is called planned by the book so definitely <laughs> so definitely support she said she said hannah enjoy your new planner we can't have you out here in these streets with a donut planner one more day <laughs> thank you so much girl y'all know well my donut book is for my um budgeting but yes ma'am i will definitely be keeping this in my purse to go from now on so thank you so much girl for hooking me up and getting me right out here in these streets so yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and relax a little bit. It's only 4.30, so I'm going to go home, relax, shower, do a little bit of cleaning, and then we're going to get set up for movie night. I don't know what I'm going to put on. I kind of want to watch the new Rings of Power. I think it's like an extension of Lord of the Rings, but I don't want to start that until I watch Lord of the Rings first. So I think we're going to be watching Lord of the Rings tonight. So I'll let y'all know when I get in the house. Okay, so I'm going to try some of the Hawaiian Punch Cotton Candy. Let's see how this tastes. Take a little small piece. Mmm, it's good. Yum. Of course, y'all, I'm not going to eat all this. I'm just making my little movie night. My little movie night board movie night charcuterie board mm. 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 I'm gonna try one of these mm. Mm. it's like a laffy taffy almost these are good and then here are the Ritz Lemon Sandwich Crackers. Let me try one of these. Mmm. Mmm. These are good, y'all. These are really good. It's like a mix of sweet and salty but it's very mild flavor i would definitely try these and then let's try the tacos doritos mm. it's just like a taco yummy so yeah i would definitely recommend all the things that i picked up here's my little movie charcuterie board now i gotta rewind the movie <laughs>